Brothers and sisters of the celestial energies, brother wisdom, what's going on? Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna discuss uh, the primordial voice. Okay. Um, now you have to remember. I'm gonna just do re a recap. Remember, primordial means those who are here or those who are original to the planet, all right? The primordial beings, those so-called black and blue, or black and brown, or, you know, the, those, the, we are the primordial beings. For you all who are mixed, all right, with the original beings and and other and another beings, what they call so called race or whatever. You're not a primordial being, but you do possess the primordial gene. Okay, which means that you can operate in some capacity of primordials. All right, because you possess the primordial gene. All right, we just want to understand that. But you are not a part of the primordial beings, but you possess the primordial genes. That's something that's been, that's been passed on to you. All right. We talked about, yesterday we talked about the primordial energy, which is the force, the, the, your thought, which is a force. All right. We talked about... Um, Creation is power, all right? And primordial beings, what our powers in creation, you know, we are the original, we created this planet, all right? Anybody who wants to talk about God and Yah and all this, and use the Bible and all this garbage, you know, this it was impossible for this planet to be created in seven days because when you're dealing with a planet so... Um, colossal and so unique it takes a lot of energy to put into a planet that can reproduce itself almost instantly alright so we as the primordial beings we are the creators of this planet as well we just don't remember it it was so long ago remember you know if you want to use the calendar months all right, our planet is what would you say 968 nanillion years? All right, which means that it's beyond the the imagination. It's a lot of fucking zeros. Let's just say that. All right. Um, the primordial voice. All right. Oh, also, we talked about knowledge as wealth. So this is this is a whole wealth of knowledge right here. All this information you're getting is wealth, okay? This is what makes you wealthy because you'll know how to operate in the in the areas of this of this type of knowledge. The primordial, primordial voice is um, the energy behind the words that you speak from your mouth. Being a primordial being, no matter what language you speak, English language, dragon language, French, uh, Spanish, Dutch, uh, German, um, uh, Russian, uh, all the all the areas of what they call Africa. No matter what language you speak, you have the ability to make things happen with your voice. All right. That's when they use that book, um, that character called Jesus that said, um, you can speak and uh, use, uh, say, say to the mountains, move, and the mountains would be, be moved or whatever. All right, we're talking about this. It was literally talking about primordial beings. Let the words of your mouth, all right, be in tune with the energy of your heart so that what you speak will come into manifestation. All right? I always use the example of these inorganic beings, I call them orc beings, 
and they put their police officers, the police officers. And I remember um, even even being a police officer, and I didn't understand it at the time. And there was this uh, one brother, and um, he was telling this orc police officer to get away from him. And he raised his voice, and he said, "Back up from me right now, motherfucker!" And the officer pulled his gun from his holster and said, "Don't do that no more." He said, "Don't do that no more." He says, "I will shoot you." And I didn't realize at the time that that brother had tapped into primordial energy to the point where he his well his the energy from his voice literally shook that young officer to the point where he feared for his life because if that brother was in tune to himself and he would have spoke directly from his heart whatever he would have spoke uh whatever he would have spoken would have come to fruition it would have come to reality his thoughts all right were the main uh, 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 energy behind the words that he spoke all right so remember you know your your thought is your thoughts is the force but then with that force that you use from your thoughts and it comes from your mouth and it's coming straight from your heart and soul, that force comes, that, that thought of force comes from your body. Therefore, the primordial voice is now activated. To understand, understand, overstand, brothers and sisters, our powers are deep within our bodies. Therefore, you know, like so many brothers and sisters are so caught up in the whole nigga thing. And they don't understand that the word nigga is an ancient word that we used long ago that literally means uh, a king or ruler. All right? Not Naga. Naga is a dragon. But when you tell nigga, you know, that's uh, like in, 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 in Africa, you know, uh, nigga, but that means king or ruler, or you can say queen because it goes, it goes either way. And, you know, I always say these beings, you know, these inorganic beings who want to say, oh, you this nigga or whatever, instead of getting mad because you don't understand because of the, 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 the miseducation because you know they they put it they put it all in the media to miseducate you so that you won't understand what the words mean. So you saying they say nigga and you get mad and angry not knowing that you're supposed to say, okay, you calling me nigga, bow before me. Alright? And then when they refuse to bow before you, you use the primordial voice within you and you make it come from your heart and soul. And you say, I said, bow before me. And then you cause them to shudder and they will have no other choice but to bow before you because you as the primordial being of this world, you use that, that powerful voice to make things happen. This is how we were able to use our abilities and our powers. Like we said, no matter what language you speak, as long as it's coming from your heart, that primordial voice will leak it to the frequencies of your mind and make things happen, all right? That is the primordial voice. That is one of the most powerful uh, uh, features we possess as the original beings. So it is important that we understand 
that our voice be heard. You know, these inorganic beings um, use their little voting system to say, well, let your voice be heard. Come and vote. How's your voice being heard? You know, it's the lies that they tell. You know, oh, they you proclaim this. You got to speak it, proclaim it in the name of Jesus. You proclaim it in the name of a reptilian king who ain't going to do shit for you. Yeah, that's what Jesus is. Jesus is a reptilian king. So you proclaiming things in the name of a of a reptilian king and nothing happens. And then you wonder why shit don't go right for you. Because you constantly looking towards something or some uh, or, or, or a thing or someone or whatever that doesn't exist. Okay? So the whole issue in this here is for us to understand, understand, overstand that your voice is a powerful weapon that can be used to topple buildings, to make things catch on fire. Remember the movie Doom? All right. And we're talking about the original movie Doom. All right, this new movie Dune was pretty good. I gotta watch it again. It's, it's still on HBO Max. I gotta watch it again because I, I need to get more information from it. But in the original movie Dune, when they had those devices on their hand and they were using that voice, and this is something they and you gotta understand that they got this from us. All right. Everything that they put in these movies, they got it from us, but they have to use their uh, people instead of us because they don't want us to know that they took it from us. But in the movie Doom, the original movie, they had these devices on their hand and then they had uh, something like a, a, a tube or something going up to their mouth where they can speak into this thing in their mouth and it goes into this device and laser energy came from the device they didn't need guns they had this device but it was their voice and at first they were calling upon the guy who they called the Mardib and they were like Mardib and that energy from their voice was literally went into this device and it caused the laser energy to come out they learned that from the primordial beings they learned that from us brothers and sisters okay they got everything from us. They they stole everything from us. They took all of our information. They put it into the movies. And, you know, we watched it as entertainment, not knowing that everything that they put there in the movies, they stole it from us because they can't naturally they can't do it. You can see these preachers. I was in one church and and a long time ago before I before I left the church. And, and but I was starting to wake up. And um, I think it was called the Detroit Outreach Church. And they was telling all these uh, uh, inorganic beings, oh, you just speaking and it comes to life. And they just up there hooping and hollering. And, and I'm like, at the, at the time, I didn't realize. But after I had finally, you know, broke off from religion and I thought about that, I said they were telling them to do something that they were. It was impossible for them to do. I was like, they took a lot of these things from and, and from us and put it in this book called the Bible and say, you speak it and it comes to life. And it's deeper than that because, you know, you have to understand that our voice is, is a, is a, is a, is a powerful weapon as well as our voice can be something that can heal. All right. So, it's important that we understand that we as primordial beings must not have any type of fear and we must be able to use the powers that are within us. Your thought being the force, that force connecting with your throat chakra. All right. That force when your thought, that's your third eye, that's your crown chakra binding up together, linking back into 
your uh, um, throat chakra going into the sub chakra, coming out of the sub chakra, which is your mouth chakra, and therefore you speak it. You speak it, and then what you speak goes directly into the other sub chakra called the ear chakra. All right, and therefore it comes from the ear chakra, it goes back up to your uh, uh, your uh, crown chakra and your third eye chakra. Then it links from your crown eye, crown chakra and your third eye chakra to your sub chakra, which is your eye chakra, which is your two eye chakras. And you, therefore you begin to see what you spoke materializing right there before you. This is the primordial voice. This is a very powerful energy, a very powerful weapon that we have. All right. When they said um, in that book called the Bible and they were talking about uh, uh, Joshua fought the battle of Jericho and said that they were singing around or they were using their voice and the walls came down. This is some ancient shit. Because they were linking into primordial voices, which means that they took this from us. All right. That primordial voice that was that is within them, they linked into it. And therefore, from that point, they caused the walls to fall down, which means that we can do the same thing, brothers and sisters. It has to come from our heart and it has to come from our soul. You can speak a thing and it comes to life. As long as it's within the balance of cosmos and nature, we are the rulers of this planet. We do not have to answer to anyone. We do not have to answer to anyone. These inorganic beings have us thinking that we got to uh, answer to their police officers and their sheriffs and their this and their that and their judges this fake ass system that they created to make us think that we are lesser than them when all alone they fearing us just like we said before they 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 you know you have the fraternal order of police they are studying us day and night night and day they're studying us because they want to know more about us. They want to know how to destroy us. They want to know how to defeat us. They want to know how to make us fall. And which is why we are targeted more than any other species on the planet. They target us because they fear us and who we are. So when you study your enemy and you find out something on your enemy, you find out how powerful your enemy really is. You will make sure in all of your fake ass power that your enemy that you're yeah you're you you're in your enemy's house now. You will make sure that your enemy does not use the powers that belong to them. All right. So the primordial voice is something that you must be able to attune to. Just something. And when I say attune, I mean be in tune with. Because you should be able to speak any time, and whatever you speak comes to light. All right. Because we are primordial beings. And like I said, you brothers and sisters who are mixed, you have the primordial gene. All right. But you're not primordial beings. You have the primordial genes, which means that you can operate in that same area. All right. So the key is that we must understand the powers of our voice. All right. We must understand the powers of our voice. All right. Our ancestors, when they fought battles, what you see on Doom is something that we had in the old movie Doom. And we were. Yup! All right. We were making that energy. We were causing that energy from our voice to vibrate into this devices that we created to come out to, to cause a laser energy to come out. And we had crystals and other and, and, and other uh, uh, different mechanisms inside of these devices that we use after the fall. All right. After the fall, we lost our hope 
because we lost something, you know, our structures and everything. I mean, we, we put all our heart and soul into what we built. But now, brothers and sisters, we know that we have something to fight for. We have something to fight for and we have a battle on our hands against these beings. And we have literally got to use every type of weapon within us to fight against our enemies. Creation is power. Knowledge is wealth. Your thought is a force. Your voice is a weapon. Understand, understand, overstand who we are and the powers that we possess within us. There is no one on the planet more powerful than the so-called black man. It's just that the so-called black man has made himself powerless because he has what? He and she, because they have uh, um, uh, caused themselves to want to be like their enemies and not like their ancestors. So therefore, they are just as weak as their enemies. All right. So it's important that we link into this primordial energy and we use the primordial voice that we were born with. All right. And therefore you use your voice as a weapon. And that weapon, you choose the words that you want to speak and make sure that your heart is in alignment. And make sure that's coming from your soul and you watch things happen. Make it come from your heart. And you watch things happen right there before you. All right, brothers and sisters. The primordial voice. Extremely, extremely important. Make your make your make your voice be heard. Make yourself be known. Do not allow anyone to tear you down. And when it comes to these inorganic police officers, even our brothers and sisters who are police officers, because they are so weak. And they're and they have this ability. This I'm sorry, not ability. They have this uh, 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 thoughts that this system is so powerful. You can also use your primordial voice on them as well, because it is a weapon, and it's a weapon of choice. Use your weapons, brothers and sisters. We're going to go deeper into this primordial energy and primordial beings because you got to understand, understand, understand who we are and where we come from. What we come from. All right, brothers and sisters, I pass this on to you. I hope you understand, understand, overstand everything that's being said. All right. Your primordial voice is extremely important. And it's important that you uh, begin to uh, practice and link into this. Um, we're going to do some more chi exercises. Uh, somebody inboxed me and said, can, can you do some more chi exercises? We're going to do some more chi exercises. Because your chi plays a role in your primordial voice. All right? Your chi plays a very important role in your primordial voice. That energy that from coming from your soul. Oh, yes. So let's um let's get ourselves together, brothers and sisters. All right. With that said, um, I have nothing else for you guys. And um we'll catch you guys on the next message. All right. You know the deal. Our power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings may chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. And remember, chaos brings change, not peace. Linking into this primordial voice is chaos. And therefore, you bring in change within your immediate area, causing your enemies to bow before you, to fall at your feet. All right. Just know who you are. Know the power that you have and your power is limitless, brothers and sisters. All right. Much power to you all.